African countries' names have interesting histories and show different cultures. However, some use names which didn't belong to them. Let's look at how names in the continent have shifted from place to place, reshaping the map and redefining identities, from lesser-known Zanzibar to the more famous Ethiopia. Starting with the name Africa itself, its origin is highly debated, with proposed origins including Afruika in Egyptian, meaning motherland, Afrik in Greek, meaning without cold, and Africa in Latin, meaning sunny. Initially used by the ancient Romans to refer to their province in the northern part of the continent, corresponding to modern-day Tunisia and the Libyan coast, with a small extension into Algeria, the name Africa was later adopted by medieval European mapmakers to designate the entire continent. Speaking of Libya, the name originated from the Greek word Libye, which itself came from the Baba word Lib. In ancient times, it referred to the region of modern-day Africa, west of the Nile, and sometimes to the entire continent. The name has been used since 1934 for the country we now know as Libya, which was previously called Tripolitania and Barca. Still in North Africa, the term Maghreb once referred to the western part of the Arab world before modern nations were formed in the late 19th century. It specifically pointed to the western Mediterranean region of coastal Algeria, Morocco and Tunisia, and sometimes included Libya and Mauritania. While the region's name stayed the same, Morocco's modern Arabic name, Al-Maghrib, was derived from it. Heading to Mauritania, the term Mauritania is the Latin name that refers to a region in northwest Africa. It spanned from central Algeria to the Atlantic, including parts of modern-day Morocco and the Atlas Mountains. The native people of Baba descent were called the Mori or the Moors by the Romans, hence the name. Today's Mauritania, which is situated much further south, gets its name from this historical region. Moving away from North Africa, the name Sudan historically referred to the vast Sahel region of West Africa, spanning from Senegal on the Atlantic coast to the western border of present-day Sudan in East Africa. The name originates from the Arabic term Bilada Sudan, meaning the land of the black people. The modern country of Sudan took its name from this region when it became a British colony in the 1890s. Additionally, Mali was known as French Sudan from the late 19th to the late 20th century. Perhaps the most well-known name on the list besides Africa is Ethiopia. In ancient times, it primarily referred to what is now Sudan, then later to the land south of the Sahara. The earliest mention of the Kingdom of Aksum as Ethiopia dates back to the first half of the 4th century AD. However, it was commonly known as Abyssinia until 1931 when Emperor Haile Selassie I officially declared Abyssinia as Ethiopia. An alternate theory traces the name to a legendary figure named Ethiopis, who was an extra-biblical son of Cush, who was the son of Ham, and is mentioned in the 15th century Jay's Book of Aksum as the city's founder. It is important to note that Ethiopia is spelled Ethiopia in the country, but while Ethiopians attribute the name to this legend, many historians believe it has Greek origins. Heading a bit south, we encounter Zanzibar. The term Zanj or Zanj was used by medieval Muslim geographers to describe both the Swahili coast in Southeast Africa and its people. While of Arabic origin, meaning country of the black people, some scholars suggest it might have Chinese roots since a form Senki is recorded as early as 6 or 7 AD, referring to the same place. However, the term Zanzibar itself comes from Arabic Zanjibar, which is derived from Persian Zanjbar, which is a combination of Zanj meaning black and Bar meaning coast. The semi-autonomous island state of Zanzibar in Tanzania adopted this name after the Sultanate of Zanzibar on the Swahili coast, which was centered on the island. Still, this region in southeastern Africa was also known as Azania, stretching slightly further south to the border between Mozambique and South Africa. The term was briefly reintroduced in the latter half of the 20th century by groups like the Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania Party, proposing it as a name for South Africa. Additionally, 
it was considered as a potential name for South Sudan upon gaining independence from Sudan in 2011. Now turning to West Africa, Ghana was a powerful empire during the classical to post-classical era located in what is now southeastern Mauritania and western Mali. The word Ghana means warrior or war chief and it was the title of the rulers of this empire. In 1957, the modern nation of Ghana adopted this name, replacing its previous name, British Gold Coast. Interestingly, the native name of the kingdom was Wagadu, which bears resemblance to the capital city of Burkina Faso, Ouagadougou, although they claim to have different origins. Another country named after pre-colonial kingdoms is Benin. During French colonial rule and after independence, the country was called Dahomey, named after the Kingdom of Dahomey, which was founded within its borders. However, in 1975, it changed its name to Benin, drawing inspiration from the historical Kingdom of Benin that was situated in present-day Nigeria. Now, let's explore a region that gave names to three African countries. The region of Guinea is situated along the Gulf of Guinea, extending from the lush tropical forests of West Africa to the Sahel. The English term Guinea originates from the Portuguese word Guinea, coined in the mid-15th century to describe the lands inhabited by the Guineas, which was a general term for the black African peoples south of the Senegal River. Today, three countries are named after this region, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau and Equatorial Guinea. Lastly, we come to Congo, which gave its name to two African countries. The Republic of Congo and the Democratic Republic of Congo derived their names from the Congo River, which in turn was named by early European sailors after encountering the Kingdom of Congo and its people, the Congo people, in the 16th century. Much of the Kingdom's territory, including its capital, Mbanza, was situated in Angola in addition to the two Congo countries. Let us know what we missed in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.